Want to make some great looking prints like these? Let's show you how as we reveal the secrets of making great polymer plates and the science behind it. The first step is to remove the protective film. Then we add a layer of baby powder to prevent the film that we will use next from sticking to the plate. This step is not necessary, but it does help make the perfect plate. Now let's clean the plate with compressed air and a soft towel. This removes the residual baby powder. Now lay the cliche inside our UV mark exposure unit with the polymer side facing the UV exposure bulbs. This film is a film we printed from our Epson P900 high density printer. We lay the film in the exact position over the plate and close the glass to make sure the film does not move. Note the entire area is free of dust and contaminants. If a contaminant is here, it will likely show up on the plate. So what are we doing here? If we place the image side up, light can get around the image and create a print that is less than perfect. We want to protect the area under the image, so by placing the image directly against the plate, the light has no way to penetrate that area. Now let's close the UV mark exposure unit. We set the time for a minute and seven seconds. Your plate time may vary due to plate manufacture and bulb wattage. So what's going on here? This is not actually an etching process. It is more of an erosion process. And let me explain. The cliche has a steel back and starts with a very soft polymer top. The image is actually on the film. We place the film directly onto the cliche. When the UV light turns on, the cliche polymer begins to harden everything from the bottom of the cliche up. The dark black image actually shields the area underneath from UV light, so the area under the image remains soft. This is why it is important to have a high density film printed and to have the image directly against the plate. Next we remove the image film. We can visually see where the image has protected the plate. Now we replace it with roster film for a second exposure. The roster film is a screen comprised of black dots which produce a golf ball like pattern on the image. Here we see an image on the left without any rasterizing, an image in the middle with an 80 line raster, and the image on the right with a 120 line raster. The finer detail required will require a finer raster or higher number. It is important to remember to keep the image and raster film processing time the same. This keeps the peaks made by the raster film or screen the same height of the plate, resulting in excellent image quality. If we change this time to a longer time, the area begins to harden too much and creates a shallow depth which results in lower amounts of ink, which create a poor imprint. If we change it to a shorter time, then these peaks are shorter. This can lead to a pooling effect, which can create spider webbing. This also leads to excessive wear of the plates due to the steep edge around the image. A way to visualize this is the pad on the machine is like a car tire on a wet surface. On the wet surface, the tire rolls, picks up water off the surface, and transfers it evenly back onto the pavement. If we didn't have the rasterization, the image would contain a large pool of ink, like a pothole. The pad, like the tire, would go down into this pool of ink, and well, you can see the result. Now let's open the UV exposure unit and remove the plate. We now need to wash away the area which was protected by the image on the film. We are essentially removing the soft polymer that has not been hardened. Using a soft brush, Simply agitate the water over the entire plate with uniform motion and light pressure. The pressure should be about one to two pounds or two fingers of pressure on the brush. A non-abrasive brush or sponge is what is required as the cliche can still scratch. We then use compressed air to dry the plate off. Now we go back to the final hardening in the UV exposure unit for 10 to 20 minutes. This hardens the image that was once soft. And now into a dryer for approximately 20 minutes for final drying. The plate looks beautiful and is ready for printing. Let's measure the plate to see if we achieve the correct depth of 25 to 35 microns. Using a non-destructive microscopic measuring tool, we focus the measurement tool on the top of the plate and then we focus on the base of the image that was created with the roster film. We can see it's perfectly between 25 and 35 microns. But how does it print? Let's see. Success. We've got a great looking product. If you like this video or would like to learn more, please hit that like button and subscribe. Also comment below if you would like to have a question made into a video for you.
Thanks for watching. I got that magic touch, it's a rush pulsing through my veins. When I show up, everybody knows that I'ma change the game.